I think I'm ready. I didn't really prepare just mentally, more or less, maybe figuring out how mm -hmm. the space is really. That will be quite difficult, I think, with my eyes closed. Uh, we, we, will see. we will I think we should start all three with that with that once again. Yes. With our eyes open. Yes. Okay. As we it's kind of a ritual in between, no, isn't uh -huh. it? Yes. First we touch the camera mm -hmm. with our hands. Ha. And we feel the distance. Yes. We feel how much it takes. Thank you. On essaye de sentir et on prend aussi l'autre main. Yes. Sans votre corps. Et puis, euh, moi, je voudrais euh, savoir si vous pouvez vous mettre debout. Can you stand up or not? I can stand. Yes. Well, uh, I can stand, but I have to push my computer. Okay. And now we sit down again. Mm -hmm. What is it? So, would it be very difficult to do or could it be done? I think it can be done, although we're in different heights, but I think that's interesting also. Yes, so that's a possibility. Now let's try the frame. Mm -hmm. First with your hand touching your nose and then going to the outside until you feel the board, see that you touch the borders. Yes, oh yeah, but you stay in front. Yes, you stay in front at the uh, the place of your nose, more or less. Ah, that's a bit. Now you go up, and both hands touch the upper border mm -hmm. and come together in the middle, if possible. They go all around once, just once. And now our hands go 20 centimeters from the screen. <coughs> and we do it again. Ah. Back to the head. <coughs> okay, one last exercise. Un dernier. Partir complètement de l'écran, très doucement. Et revenir. Donc, disparaître en regardant l'écran pour l'instant pour voir à quel moment vous êtes complètement hors écran. Et puis, revenir. Est-ce qu'il y a une autre façon qui serait plus simple? Is there another way to do this that could be more, could be simpler? Try that. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> I need to turn the to 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 close the I don't know the word in English. J'ai besoin de fermer les volets. Voilà. Parce qu'il y a trop de okay. lumière. Ouais.
I'm still a bit upside down. I'm not sure. So it will remain like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Alors, une chose à propos de, de la langue. Yes. Est-ce que euh, on va essayer de rester euh, dans la langue quand on guide? Let's stay in the language when we guide what is most natural for us. Mm -hmm. Okay. And only use the other one if we think it, we are telling something complicated. Yes. And if we have some words in the other language. So we, on reste avec l'autre langue qui nous est le plus familier. Mm -hmm. Et on va, mais on essaye, si on a l'impression de dire quelque chose qui est assez compliqué, mm -hmm. on essaye de dire quelques mots dans l'autre langue pour, aide, pour aider les autres. Et éventuellement, mais sans effort. Oui, si, ça, si ça pose des problèmes, restez dans la langue qui est le plus facile. D'accord. Is that good? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I would I would just suggest another just another exercise um, from the ones of the that we just did mm -hmm. is to try to touch the person that it's next to you. So I'm touching any if I do this. Oh. Me, so am I. Je suis en train de toucher I'm touching Annie. Inca. I'm touching Annie and Muriel. Okay. Oh. And, uh, and Muriel. And Daniel. Daniel here. And I'm touching Annie. Muriel here. Ah. And Annie and here. Here. Link. Link. And. Inca. And. Uh, Inca. Yeah. And uh, how do I do this? And here. Inca. Ah. Inca, yes, Muriel. Okay, Annie, Annie, Muriel, Annie, Daniel. Muriel, and Annie. Oh, I won't be able to remember. I think Annie. Okay, you don't have to remember. You don't have to. It's just oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Simple things are complicated. Complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> uh, on alterne la guidance. On ne sait pas qui va commencer. We don't know who will start. Okay. Oh, I have not. Uh, je je n'ai plus de téléphone. Je n'ai plus de réveil. It's not a problem. You will hear mine. Okay. I'm going to do 20 minutes. 15. 15. Okay. Or 20. No, 15, I think. Isn't 15. it? 15. Yeah. 15. Okay. Feel how your body is positioned right now and try to be more relaxed as you go through the images that we've just done during the exercise and try to breathe more calmly
and slightly start turning your head, looking at the person to your right. and looking to your left sentez le mouvement dans votre cou Go back once more. Feel your neck. Keep the movement from side to side going while feeling your neck. Avec cette sensation de la nuque, du cou libre, tranquille, ramène le visage devant toi, sur le devant, tourné vers la caméra. Amène une de tes mains devant ton visage, juste pour la sentir un peu proche de toi, que tu sentes le souffle sur ta main. Et c'est la main qui va aller vers la gauche, autour de ton visage, et puis vers la droite, autour de ton visage encore avec la même douceur, la même tranquillité que tu ressentais quand tu tournais le visage. La main passe devant tes yeux, devant ton nez, devant ta joue, ton autre joue, jusqu'à l'oreille. Et reviens. Tu sais et tu sens que ton image disparaît un peu de l'écran chaque fois que la main passe devant. La lumière derrière tes paupières change quand la main passe devant. Tu sens cette différence Et puis viens poser ta joue sur cette main, comme si tu asseyais ta tête sur la main. Une joue. Détends-toi. Pose le poids de ta tête. Et là, tu te rends compte que tu as des pieds et tu fais plaisir à tes pieds pendant que tu es tranquille, ton visage dans la main, 
while you quiet your head on your hand. You move your feet. You try to be gentle to them too. And you give them a lot of space, your feet. They can move freely everywhere where they want. As long as you stay in front of the screen. Your free dance. Les pieds dansent, ils sont libres. Let this movement of your feet grow into your, the rest of your body and how it makes your body balance and move. Always trying to stay in front of the camera. Trying that the movement is continuous and flowing. Et maintenant, lentement, ça s'arrête un peu et votre main se retrouve en haut. Elle pousse votre visage vers en bas. And now, everything slows down. Your hand is on top of your face at the end. And your hand is pushing your head down. Down. Down and down. La tête en bas. La main laisse libre la tête et vient devant l'écran. La main est seule devant l'écran. La main prend la place de tout le visage. La main est libre, elle flotte devant l'écran. Elle joue, elle glisse d'un côté à l'autre, avec les épaules, avec le buste, comme si le vent poussait votre bras et votre main. Et elle se détend, elle relâche, le bras se relâche et vous vous retrouvez devant l'écran, simplement. Avec encore des petits mouvements de flottement dans le dos, dans la colonne vertébrale. dans la bouche l'air entre et sort et ça fait bouger votre dos légèrement doucement Ça 
c'est une douce brise qui sort de votre bouche, de vos poumons, de votre ventre. Et en fermant un peu plus les lèvres, cette douce brise devient guidée comme un petit souffle d'air qui s'adresse à l'écran, qui s'adresse à l'autre, celui qui n'est pas là. C'est comme une chatouille un petit souffle d'air ça chasse les poussières et en soufflant vous approchez votre tête de la caméra Vous allez souffler dans l'écran de l'autre. As you hear the air of the other, Let it push you back as if you were actually receiving, receiving it on your face. And respond. Try to imagine the strength of that breath of air. Is it too slow? Is it strong? How does it reach your face? It doesn't reach my face. <sighs> It's stuck with you. right hand and touch your face on the right side and wonder do you touch your face with your hand or do you touch your hand with your face <sighs> Then, after a while, with your other hand, try and touch the camera on your screen. And 
and ask yourself, what do you feel with your hand when you touch the screen? And put this same hand on your face as well. Now with your face, feel your hands on your face. Feel your fingertips on your forehead. And now slowly move your hands away from your face. And let them move in space away from you. Let them go where they want to go. Merci, Inka. Oh. <laughs> Merci à vous. <laughs> That was a beautiful last moment. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't really sure. I heard a noise, but I... Okay. No, it, 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 it was interesting too because um, I had opened my eyes. Yes. Around. And then I uh, engaged on yes. what, what you said, but then I, I opened them again, and then it was really interesting to see you and Muriel doing it. Uh -huh, okay. Because both me and Annie were, we had our eyes open. Already, okay, yes. Um, yeah. which, which is interesting to let it also just gives another uh, layer to, to it, which is one of the people that are watching and the people that yes, are doing sure. it. Yes. It went rather quick, I think. <laughs> I, <laughs> how did you feel? Did you feel it like a long time or? No. No, it's no. It's really quick. Yeah. It's really quick. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because 
dans le, sur le moment où on fait, on pense tellement à ce qui se passe oui. que le, le temps s'écoule plus pareil. Non, c'est vrai. Oui. Hmm. Et Annie, comment <rire> <rire> j'ai deux idées alors la première partie allait beaucoup trop vite et il se passait trop de choses peut-être there were too many things in the first part of it uh -huh. Maybe, but at the same time I really felt uh, very constrained by my position oh. and that I was with the, the, the chair And the, the fact that I was sitting was very much determining what I was doing. Yes. La chaise déterminait beaucoup ce que je pourrais faire dans la première partie, donc elle, elle était très très importante. Mm -hmm. Elle m'empêchait, elle, elle me guidait, elle, elle faisait des trucs comme ça. Mm -hmm. Et euh, quand on avait fini, et que tu n'avais pas fini toi, Inke, ah oui <rire> Ça, c'était une surprise. Et je me suis dit, je vais suivre. Ah oui Et je suivais, j'ai trouvé super beau le fait que euh, euh, la main qui touche le visage ou le visage qui touche la main. Oui. Et je pensais que c'était ton point final. Ah. Donc, j'ai réouvert mes yeux. Ah bon Et ben non, ce n'était pas le point final <rire> du tout. Non, non. Et là, je voyais que, que Muriel hésitait un, un peu, mais te suivait. Oui. Et je trouvais assez joli le fait que Daniel et moi ont décidé de regarder. Ah. Parce qu'on était déjà trop à l'extérieur, je pense. Oui. Ah oui, d'accord. Pour pouvoir en réentrer. Ok. Là-dedans. Et ah. donc, nous, on, on a regardé et c'était super beau ce moment-là. Ah oui. C'était vraiment très beau et très intéressant. Le son d'abord qui était, euh, qui fait, qui était le, à mon interprétation, c'était une téléphone qui était là. Ah, ok. Je ne sais pas, parce que je utilise toujours mon téléphone comme un... Oh, je n'ai pas interprété. Non, mais ce qui me fait aussi penser que peut-être le son de la cue, c'est mieux... When doing it like this, it's better if it's only one source yes. of sound rather than two, uh, yes. like in this case. Or yes. But also we use it in different in in the different places because if something yes. happens with the connection, and we, uh, at least that's my thought. Like, if something happens with the connection, I know that my phone will ring, so I will keep right. it until the end. Yes. Doing it. Well, I I have my. Um... But it didn't go off. <laughs> <laughs> And then, then I thought I heard Annie's ringing later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I What? did it the second time. Yes, okay, you did it the second time. Yeah, because <laughs> first I thought you, you did it on purpose because you thought I have something to bring to you. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't. Yeah, and that was really the case. You gave, you gave something very beautiful, I think. <laughs> and then I, near the end I thought but now maybe she doesn't know if there is an end or not an end and so then I put on my ah yeah that one I heard only that one. yeah then I did it again a second time okay well to give you a sign <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you but, but also also like like Annie mentioned the uh, I, I did the, the same thing the same uh, part um, But then I was too out of it to yes. actually go in. Yes. And I thought it, um, it was interesting to see that Muriel engaged on, uh, on continuing. Yes. So, it, so it was like this decision of, okay, maybe I just, I just watch instead of doing, yes. even though like there was this thing about, oh, maybe if we didn't had opened our eyes or. Yes, I wasn't aware. <laughs> no, but that's, I, think, I, think, I think that's the interesting Yes. One of the many interesting things, but, uh, but also yes. an interesting thing yes. that, that it continues beyond um, yes. a certain moment. Yeah, sure. Yes. And I found it uh, kind of uh, related to the beginning anyway, when Uriel started and uh, touching the face. It, 
this is one one of my favorite exercises by the way so this is mm -hmm. something i do uh often because i it keeps me moving between these two i can never actually do it at the same time so i cannot feel my hand and my face two ways yeah so, if I need to focus, that's what I propose to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and can you tell something about the whole experience, Inca, or is that too too fresh? Um, I well, I found it very interesting. That's for sure. It was I, I was I think completely absorbed in the in the movements. Um, I don't know at all if I kept in touch with the screen because when I reached out to my screen, I felt that I didn't touch my screen, but I was way too high. So I'm very curious to, uh, to see how this will, how did it look? <laughs> <laughs> did I actually find this space? Because that's something so really virtual that you so focusing on the body and the different movements that was a very nice experience uh, but this is a more insecure relationship and i think uh, moving towards the screen is okay but when you move to the side we didn't do many many movements to the side or down or perhaps but it's more complicated also in the beginning there was this maria asked us to put our right hand i think and I was confused about, uh, is this the screen right side? So I think I'll turn, it was about turning the head. And I think maybe I turned in a different direction than I was supposed to. So when you have someone in front of my, I, when I have someone in front of my camera as a photographer, you always have to make sure which direction do you mean by turning to the right? Is mm -hmm. it right from my position or is it from your position? That's interesting too. Yeah, and c'est à mon avis, si la personne ne le dit pas, on est libre de choisir ce qu'on veut. Sinon, elle doit le dire. Oui. Moi, je l'ai pris comme ça. Tout ce qui n'est pas clair, on peut l'interpréter. Oui, oui. Parce que oui, oui, sinon, oui. sinon on réfléchit trop. Mm -hmm. Mais je crois que tu l'avais dit, Daniel. Yes, but, uh, yes. but uh, as, 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 you, as always, when the moment I close my eyes, I, there is this um, non-perception of, even if we did the exercise in the beginning, yes. sometimes the, the body keeps, keeps uh, acknowledging that my right is my right. So yes. uh, there's this strange relationship to the screen where, where when I say look to the person on your right, yes. um, and then I, I had the same thought of maybe we're not all understanding the same right. So Yes. There was this thing about you looking to one side and the other to actually to see it after what, what, it, what it is, but actually this relationship of where am I looking at when I'm in front of this? Yes. Uh, and, and, also, uh, and how, like, how do I put everyone else to do the same movement as I, as I am doing? Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, on my right, there is no one. So that felt also kind of unnatural to mm -hmm. move towards someone, I wanted to do that, but to the right, and there was no one, so I thought, well, I'll have to do it the other way, so. <laughs> but I think the, I like the confusion part also. Yes. It's not about, for me, it's not about doing exactly, you try to be precise, but you also enter the, ex, the, the experience itself. It's not only about, Yes. Ouais, d'ailleurs, d'ailleurs, je crois que c'est pas, c'est pas nécessaire d'être euh, plus précis. Non. Je pense que plus il y a de la différence entre chacun, oui. et plus du coup il y a l'espace euh, de l'autre. Mm -hmm. Plus on multiplie mm -hmm. les autres, en oui. fait. Ouais. Yes. Comment tu l'as ressenti Thank you for having me as Pardon. your first guest. <laughs> Thank you. 
I didn't hear what you were saying. Oh, Ani, I will say it again. I said, thank you for having me as your first guest. Ah, was a pleasure, was mine, and I hope so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Mais moi, j'ai Muriel, comment tu l'as senti cette fois-ci? Euh, moi, j ai, j ai, enfin, je vais commencer par la fin parce que je ne sais jamais commencer par le début. Il faut que je remonte dans ma mémoire à l'envers, en fait. Uh -huh. euh, moi, j'ai plongé dans ta proposition avec la main. Ah oui? Parce que euh, j'ai hésité un peu. Oui. <rire> Est-ce que je vais? Est-ce que je ne vais pas? Et tout ça. Et en fait. Euh, j'ai plongé dedans parce que ça m'a rappelé euh, nos premières fois où on était complètement dans la découverte euh, de, de donner à partager la sensation. Ah oui. Vous mmh. comprenez ce que je veux dire oui. C'est-à-dire, euh, nos premières fois, on, on sentait et oui. ce qu'on essayait, c'était que l'autre euh, puisse sentir, lui aussi, ce qu'on sent. Il y avait quelque oui. chose de cet ordre-là. Et, mmh. et là, entre la main et le visage, on peut voir la différence, tu vois. Mais, oui. mais encore une fois, c'est une sorte de, de perception tellement intime oui. que elle, elle est, elle est, personne ne peut sentir exactement ce que tu sens. Voilà. Et je trouve que dans Distinct Movement, il y a quelque chose là qui mmh. est essentiel à mmh. comprendre, c'est-à-dire tant qu'on, par moment, on se laisse happer euh, euh, tous les trois d'ailleurs, je pense, on se laisse happer par la forme, par mmh. l'espace, par euh, l'enjeu, par euh, l'autre, par l'attention, parce que on a, on a toutes ces intentions là à l'intérieur de nous, et, et, euh, et de revenir à l'essentiel, c'est-à-dire le fait de se sentir vivant derrière la caméra loin de l'autre, mais vivant, qui est vivant lui aussi, oui. alors là, quelque chose d'autre communique, en fait. Oui. C'est autre chose. Oui. Et je ne sais pas ce que c'est, ce quelque chose d'autre. Pour non. moi, c'est complètement inconnu, cette, oui. cette chose-là. Voilà. Et, et je trouve que c'était bien. Tu nous as, tu m'as, moi, replongé dans la sensation, quoi. Bon. Avec toi. Et du coup, c'était okay. mon empathie, à... c'était le fait d'être en empathie avec ton vivant qui, ah. qui m'a donné la qualité quoi. très bien, super c'est vraiment c'est très 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 intéressant très 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 intéressant pour moi mmh. merci <rire> <rire> pour, pour moi aussi c'est yes. <rire> <rire> mmh. ah ouais c'est vraiment euh, c'est comme si euh, Ouais, ce que je vais dire, c'est un petit peu bébête, hein, je suis désolée. C'est comme si euh, j'avais, quand je sens que je suis en vie, que je, je sens que je suis en vie grâce à la proposition de quelqu'un d'autre qui se sent lui aussi en vie, c'est comme oui. si, si, euh, si, si toutes mes cellules étaient à l'écoute de la ah. vie qui était invisible. Ah oui. Imperceptible, en fait. Ah. C'est comme si tout mon corps faisait un focus à travers l'information que je reçois là, là, qui n'est pas à moi. Et je n'arrive pas à comprendre comment je peux à la fois être vivante dans mon corps et attentive autant que ça à ce que quelqu'un d'autre m'envoie. C'est vraiment comme un dédoublement de, 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 de mon attention ah. au monde, en fait. Comme si j'arrivais à comprendre physiquement qu'il y a du virtuel. Ah oui. C'est un très, très, très bel contrepoint. Oui. Ce qui venait juste avant, c'était le souffle. Parce que le souffle, oui. euh, quand on il le donne, pas. ça va encore, mais ouais. ça ne marche pas. Non, oui. il ne passe pas, oui. On et, est dans l'imaginaire. Oui, et, pour, et dès qu'on fait le saut, donc c'est pour ça que la totalité est très beau et l'expérience du fait oui. que ça ne marche pas ouais. euh, Daniel, I said it was a nice uh, yes. counterpoint yes. of what just happened before because with the breathing, with, with the breathing it, it doesn't really work it yeah. works a little bit because of sound but yes. it, 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 it works only via imagination and yes. this 
was the nice turning it around because then all of and this idea of feeling yourself through the like through the proposition of the other it's yeah. it's the, the contrast between yeah i was when when the breathing part came it was um of course it is about using the imagination uh, or that was my my own thought yeah. on it but it was also i was more interested on the sound and how the sound can actually uh, make me perceive something in my in the in, in the movement Mm -hmm. Not so much through the imaginary um, sensation of what would what would it be to feel um, the the wind. Breath, the wind of someone blowing on your face mm -hmm. by 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 uh, calling on that imagination to react more to the sound of the other that was yeah. that was the, kind of the, the the path that I wanted to go I was, I was trying to find the, the the words or the way to to make it um, to mm -hmm. to make it a proposition yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I I, I also I, I totally agree that it's, <laughs> it's this yeah. counterpoint between one thing that yes. that we have in the in this virtuality let's call it like that that it's to work with the imagination in order to produce something or actually to work with the embodiment and and uh, and, and what I have on my side in order to to feel myself through the others or through what the, the others are are putting me in. Mm -hmm. uh, to do or in position, mm -hmm. which I think it's the the distant movements for me. It's also about that. It's about this this there's the the how, how do you say like this, this line between I would I'm, I say fiction and reality, but it's not what I exactly mean by those things. Yeah. But kind of make this this balance between what what the breathing and the, the touching myself, mm -hmm. and which for me doing it with the eyes closed. Um, it's interesting because we are in fact lost in this in this perception of ourselves while listening to the others. Yes. And this is not some, this is something that we also do like if we're in a I don't know like in a dance studio and in, and and improvise with other people and we say okay let's close our eyes and let's hear each other and let's that and let's let that make you do something. I mean it's not different from that but we're doing it in this space and Mm -hmm. which it's interesting yes. for me yes I think you are right really ah, je, je crois que c'est pas possible de vivre l'un sans l'autre mm -hmm. c'est obligatoire d'avoir à la fois l'imaginaire et c'est grâce à l'imaginaire que je peux développer mon empathie de l'autre aussi mm -hmm. et, et sans avoir la, la relation au corps comme là Mm. Je ne peux pas développer mon imaginaire de mm. l'autre. Ah oui. Mm -hmm. C'est ce qui se passe quand on improvise aussi. Tu, tu n'as pas cette impression, Daniel Lorsqu'on lorsqu est en improvisation, en danse, on improvise avec quelqu'un, il y a oui. deux façons d'improviser aussi. Il y a vraiment deux façons d'être. Soit tu te laisses faire par le mouvement de l'autre et tu... Yeah. Tu, tu rentres dans le corps de l'autre et mmh. c'est ça qui te construit qui construit ton mouvement mmh. soit tu, tu projettes un imaginaire et on est deux à aller dans cet imaginaire oui mmh. yeah. yes. yes that's, that's how, why I was bringing this, this idea of like doing an improvisation uh, mmh. in, a, in a physical space which relates which kind of relates with body in, <coughs> improvisation and movement improvisation which is interesting to bring those, uh, I think we're bringing those methodologies here and experimenting them here in this space. Um, uh, when I watched your video from, from, the, from one of the other sessions and I uh, asked this question about uh, the importance of uh, visibility and uh, then, um, I think Annie proposed to do a session without viewers, without visibility to the others. Mm -hmm. But did you also uh, try by uh, the same experience, but with your eyes open? Yeah, is, that, is, that a, is that a question? That's a question, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We did, we did in fact one, one improvisation where 
So I don't know. I don't. I don't think. I don't think we ever did one with entirely with our eyes open. But uh, um, we did open our eyes in one in one of the, which was Annie that was doing the proposition, mm -hmm. and she invited us to open our eyes at a, at a given moment. Uh -huh. and that and that and that had an, an effect on on what we were doing. And uh, in that, just in that, a few seconds. Yes, that was like a glimpse of what was happening, and it was interesting because suddenly we saw ourselves doing something, and then we went back to the to the yeah. ice clothes. Uh -huh. But that kind of made me. At that moment, it was interesting because it made me. I was not expecting to see what I saw, <laughs> and uh, and but I was I, I wasn't also thinking about what I was going to see. So. It was a surprise uh, overall, and it was a, a surprise that affected my movement and the way I continued that that proposition. Mm -hmm. Because I can I can imagine that it can also be interesting to respond to the others just by watching the movements instead of using your voice to make someone else move. Yes. But maybe this is a whole, uh, whole new chapter in the... <laughs> it's another project. <laughs> yes, I think so, probably. And then without, maybe without sound. Because <laughs> for me, the sound is very... Uh, of course, when you have your eyes closed, uh, sound is extra important. Because otherwise you lose the, uh, uh, the presence. This is from the other... Uh, uh, project we did together, uh, the meditation, distant feelings. This, yes, distant feelings. Mm -hmm. Because then I was very much aware that when there is no sign from the others whatsoever, then you are completely lost in your own world. So you need it, but maybe, well, just without sound and only with what you see is also it, it's another option, I think. Yes. Okay. I think the, the it's more person, about it, control then, and that's it's it's that, another well, kind of control. Uh, I'm not sure because you can also it's still about when you put the body first and you put movements in the first place. So I'm just doing mm -hmm. then I we could with, with this is more maybe more close to um, project you did before. Uh, in touching and yeah. getting lost, but still the touch can be very much presence and also the response, the bodily response to one another. Yeah, but it's, it's, some, it's not so close to dance because then you have to translate all the time what you see mm -hmm. and what you do. And that's a, another translation layer. And that's not what's interesting for us now in this yeah. project. Yeah. Yes, and, and I, I add something because when, quand, quand on guide quelqu'un mm -hmm. euh, par, la, par la voix, par l'intention, mm -hmm. il y a quelque chose où euh, on n'est plus, enfin, celui qui guide, mm -hmm. il n'est pas dans la même porosité, mm -hmm. pas dans la même écoute du corps de l'autre. Mm -hmm. il, il, est, il est dans la, quelque chose qui, gonde, qui guide, en fait, mm -hmm. qui qui oui. amène, qui, qui borde, en fait. Mm -hmm. Et quand on est tous les trois et qu'on qu s'envoie, qu'on se guide tous les trois, que tout change et qu'on a les yeux fermés et qu'il n'y a pas quelqu'un qui est dans l'allant comme ça et les autres qui se laissent porter, on est tous les trois dans la même écoute de soi et de l'autre. Mm -hmm. Et c'est le fait d'aller entre l'autre et soi, entre les mm -hmm. deux, qui crée un autre mouvement, un mouvement qui est... En... Oui, est bon. <rire> Ça fait une heure, Inge. <rire> Ça fait une heure et quart. <rire> et, et moi, j'ai un peu peur que, que mon enregistrement va, va foirer. D'accord. Si je continue encore longtemps, donc je vais l'arrêter, l'enregistrement peut-être. D'accord, ah, d'accord. Même si là, ce qu tout ce qu'on dit, c'est super intéressant. Oui. I, I, I keep it, I keep it recording. Um, okay, good. Okay.